There is a fascinating connection between Lieutenant Nog on Star Trek, Deep Space Nine and Number One Starfleet Academy origin story in Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. In Strange New Worlds Season 2, Episode 2, Ad Astra Paraspera, Commander Yuna Chin Riley had to appear in court. Number one misled Starfleet by claiming to be an Illyrian who had undergone genetic modification, a race that the United Federation of Planets forbade. Mira Ketel, Yuna's attorney, helped her obtain asylum from the Federation, which allowed Number One to reclaim her position as first officer of the US Enterprise. Nog was a key player in Captain Benjamin Sisko's Starfleet crew in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Nog started out as a young bartender in his Uncle Quark's bar on Deep Space Nine but he didn't want to end up like his father, Rom, a bankrupt Ferengi merchant. Starfleet, where Nog put in the effort and rose to the rank of respected young officer, was Nog's savior. From DS9 Seasons 4, 7, Nog quickly advanced from Starfleet cadet to ensign to lieutenant, junior grade. Despite suffering great loss and going through a difficult period during the Dominion War, Nog took part in the celebration of the Federation's final victory. Admiral Robert April, Commander Unichin Riley's former commanding officer, testified in court in Star Trek, Strange New World Season 2, Episode 2, at Astra Paraspera, saying he sponsored Yuna's enrollment to Starfleet Academy. April praised Number 1 for his outstanding dedication to Starfleet and for receiving a promotion more quickly than any other officer. Yuna was recommended to the Academy by the former captain of the US Enterprise, which shows how highly he regarded Chin Riley. However, April was compelled to admit under oath that he would not have sponsored Chin Riley if she had revealed to him the truth that she is Illyrian. Admiral April's sponsorship of Yuna Chin Riley's application is comparable to Commander Benjamin Sisko's recommendation of Nog to Starfleet Academy in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine Season 3 episode Heart of Stone. Nog's plea to join Starfleet initially made Sisko believe it was some sort of practical joke. But the young Ferengi was convincing and persuaded Sisko that he truly wanted a better future so he wouldn't become like his father, Nog. Nog's plea moved Sisko, who handed the Ferengi his chance. It is noteworthy that two of the most well-known black captains in the Star Trek universe took a chance on young aspirants who shared Sisko and April's commitment to the Starfleet values. Both Number One and Nog are outstanding examples of Starfleet achievement in the 23rd and 24th centuries, respectively. Yuna is praised by Captain Christopher Pike in Star Trek, Strange New Worlds as being the best first officer in the fleet, and Number One had an excellent Starfleet history prior to coming forward and admitting she is Illyrian. Nog, on the other hand, exceeded all expectations during his time as a Starfleet officer on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Nog embraced Starfleet like a fish to water, silencing every skeptic. The Ferengi came to represent the honor, devotion and discipline expected of every Starfleet officer. Another distinction that Nog and Unichin Riley share is that they were the first members of their race to join Starfleet. The first Illyrian in Starfleet is Number One, and the first Ferengi is Nog. Both Nog and Number One have seen their fair share of beauty and danger amid the mystery and grandeur of space. Having toured the galaxy and served under the best captains of their eras in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine and Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, respectively. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe and give us a like.